As government looks to modernize the country's aviation sector, it has found itself one step closer to doing so after signing a number of historical documents in Canada. RCS Gatley is there tonight. It was a busy day for the Bahamian delegation here in Montreal, having signed two historical agreements and attending several high-level meetings during Monday's session at the 39th Assembly of the International Civil Aviation Organization. The Bahamas signed its first air service agreement with Turkey. Signing on behalf of the Minister of Transport and Aviation, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin was the High Commissioner to Canada, His Excellency Dr. Kelsey Johnson, IKO's Technical Safety Coordinator, Julia Brathwaite Roll and Deputy Undersecretary in the Ministry of Transport, Maritime Affairs and Communication, Orhan Berdal, explains the significance of this signing. We want them to understand that the Bahamas is 700 islands and keys, 28 government-owned airports. So we want them to have an opportunity to come into the Bahamas and also explore and be able to, you know, experience what we have to offer. You know, we're, we're a unique country and a lot of possibilities that presents itself with the signing of agreement. Uh, Turkish carriers and Bahamas carriers may have a chance to fly the other countries' destinations. This is essential in order to start uh, flights between the two countries. That's why this is very important. The air service agreement with Turkey wasn't the only document signed by the Bahamian delegation. In fact, they also signed a memorandum of understanding with the United Arab Emirates. It's a move that's expected to transform the local aviation sector. The agreement basically says that what we've negotiated in Turkey and what we've negotiated over the past year is going to be signed. The only difference is we've signed an MOU of understanding that it's going to take place and the ASA will be signed officially in December. Uh, we have actually um, managed almost 114 million passengers through our airports, which in a way tells you also about the importance of tourism and connecting uh, points to points between uh, the UAE and other destinations uh, in the world. So the Bahama is a very important uh, tourism uh, destination and uh, a lot of our uh, people are also traveling to the U.S. and uh, by connecting to the Bahamas this will be a big advantage also for us economically but also what is more important is how we connect the people together. And while these two documents may be signed, sealed and delivered, the Bahamian delegation still have lots on their plate as they prepare to host the ICANN conference back in Nassau later this year at the 39th Assembly of the IKO in Montreal, Canada. C.S. Scatterly, ZNS Network News.